Hello everyone, I hope you are doing great. This is Sahari Kiyoni Hakku, and today I am going to be explaining to you an important point about modeling ducts in Revit. This point is actually something that might be a little bit vague for some people. So stay with me throughout this video to know what it's about. To begin with modeling ducts, first I will have to open a proper template. So in the startup screen of Revit, I'm going to click on new. Now here in the template file section, we're going to have to select the proper template. So I'm going to click on browse. And now because I want my project to be metric, I'm going to go in the English folder. Generally, this is the path to it. Driver C, program data, then Autodesk then RVT 2024, or whatever version that you have installed, then templates, and English. Now I'm going to go select the mechanical default metric template, and then click open. Now in the section below, we're going to select project, and then click OK. And now we're going to wait for our drawing area to load. Now while we are in mechanical floor plan 1, we're going to go to the systems tab, then click on the duct command. Now we're going to go to the properties window and open this drawer. And then select the proper fitting type which we are looking for for the project. Or we can just add a new one. But now I'm just going to look through the rectangular ducts. And select the ones that say radius elbows. Because this thing which I'm about to tell you is about the elbows. So I'm going to select radius elbows tabs. And then I'm going to go up to the options bar and enter the dimensions. Here for the width, I'm going to enter 1000 millimeters. Then I'm going to drag the mouse out of the bar and then go up here. And for the heights, I'm going to give it uh, 800 millimeters. There we go. Now for the middle elevation, considering this level one in which we are, I'm going to keep it at 2750 uh, as it is by default. Now we're going to zoom in, first click, second click, third click, and press escape. And now I'm going to repeat the same thing, first click, second click, third click, and press escape once. And then again, first click, second click, then the third click, and escape. Alright, now we're going to select the first one's elbow. And if we go to the properties window, we see that here it says rectangular elbow radius. As in, this is an elbow which has rectangular ends, and it's also arched, it is radius. It also says 1.5W, we're going to see what this is. So we're going to open the drawer, and then we see that we have two other modes as well, 1W and 2W. Let's select the first one, 1W, and the second one is 1.5W. And we're going to set the third one on 2W. Now, just by looking at them, we see that the first one's radius is smaller. And then when we see the second one, we see the radius has gotten a little bigger. And the third one, which was 2W, this one's radius is even bigger. So now we want to see what these 1W, 1.5W, and 2W are. I'm going to zoom in a little here. And now I would like to see the central line of this duct. So to do that, I'm going to draw an arc. I'm going to go to the annotate tab, then click on detail line. Now over here and select start end radius arc. The start point would be here and this one's the end point. And as for its radius, we're going to make it the same as the elbows. There we go. So now we want to measure this one's radius. So I'm going to click on Align Dimension Command. First click here, and then over here in the middle of the duct, we're going to make the second click. Then we're going to click again somewhere empty. So we use these lines to figure out the radius of this arc. And now we have the number 1000. What was the width of our duct? This one was 1000 as well. So the widths of ducts are referred to as w in short so if we divide the radius of this elbow by the width of the duct which would be its end 
as in 1000 divided by 1000, we conclude that the radius of the elbow is one time the size of the width or the W. Now let's check out the next one. We're going to measure it using a line dimension first click. Then we're going to go here and the second click. We got 1500. What was the width of the duct? It was 1000. So 1500 divided by 1000 equals 1 1.5. So now the radius of this elbow is 1.5 times the width of the duct. So now it's 1.5 W. Now in the next and the last one, we can pretty much guess what's going to happen. As in our radius is supposed to be 2000. And yes, there it is. And the width was 1000. So 2000 divided by 1000 equals 2. Meaning that the radius of our elbow is 2 times the width. It's 2W, just like what it says right here as well. Now the question is, can we add a new radius of our own? Sure we can. How is that? We can go to the Systems tab, then Find and click on Duct Fitting. Then here in the Properties window, we're going to find Rectangular Elbow. So we can go here to this box which says Search and type in Elbow. Then we see the ones that say Rectangular Elbow Radius. We're going to select one of them. Then we go to Edit Type. Before we change anything, first we have to click on Duplicate. And here, for example, I'm going to type in 0.7 W. I would like the radius of my elbow to be 0.7 times the width of the duct. Now look over here. We see that it says Radius Multiplier. We're going to type in 0.7 and then click OK. Now we're going to go up here to the Systems tab and click on the Duct command. And with width 1000, we're going to draw another duct, like so, and press escape. Now we're going to select the elbow, and if we look at the properties window, we see the ones we already had by default, as well as this 0 0.7, which we just added. We can clearly see that this one's radius is much smaller than the others. We can also measure it to make sure. Click here, and then here, then somewhere empty. And the width is also 1000. So 700 divided by 1000 equals 0 0.7, or in other words, 0 0.7 W. So we can have all kinds of different radiuses for our elbows. Depending on the space that we have, we can use elbows with different radiuses and also maintain the standard required sizes. Thank you for following along with me throughout this video. And if you would like to learn everything about modeling ducts in Revit from A to Z and even project oriented, you can get your own MEP Revit tutorial package by going to the Bunro College website.